I drove out Route 2 to Maynard, Mass. yesterday to visit with Scott Monty, a fellow I've met in person and on the internet. Scott is a passionate and really knowledgeable devotee of uh, this fellow, Sherlock Holmes. He has a great podcast called I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere. And for his day job, he works at Crayon, which is a new marketing company founded by Joseph Jaffe. I wanted to talk to him about working at home, hopefully talk to his family, and I wasn't sure how Sherlock Holmes was going to come into the conversation, but in the end he did, and I was also able to find some nice Mendelssohn music that was Sherlock's favorite. We're, we're a virtual company, so we're all working from home. We're working from some remote location. I'll typically be down here in the office, uh, you know, no later than 8, um, which is a lot different than what I, what I was used to when I was working in a, a normal office. I mean, you know, if I got on the road by 8, that would be something. And then I'd be in the car for an hour, you know, commuting into Harvard Square, for example. And uh, I found there's pluses and minuses to that. One, you know, I, my commute is 15 seconds. I just walk downstairs here and I jump right into work, which is great. But I don't have that time to, you know, kind of ramp up for the day and you know, enjoy podcasts the way I used to. Quite frankly, that's, that's the biggest thing I feel like I'm missing. The, on the commute home and the commute to, to, uh, to and from work, you know, that's two hours of my day that was spent listening to podcasts, which I love. Your dad works here at the house. Yeah. And where's his office? Right over there. And when he's working, can you go in and talk to him, or do you have to kind of leave him alone? I just have to leave him alone. Uh-huh. Why is that? Because he needs to do work to pay money to this house. It's a fine line between work and personal life when you work from home. So one of the perks is that um, we eat dinner earlier, which is better for the kids now, and that Scott can actually be with us when we eat because he can stop working around 6 o'clock and come up and eat with us. And then he usually, well, pretty much always goes back to work after the kids go to bed. But it's nice to have him there, have that family time that maybe we would have missed when he was commuting. Uh, that's a perk. But the downside is, as far as especially Scott in my own personal time, we don't necessarily have that as much because he will go back to work after the kids go to bed and, and I don't see him for the rest of the night. So, you know, that's it's tough, I think, to find that balance. One thing I don't do that maybe Scott would like me to do is he, when we first started, he said, I think if you need to reach me, you'll need to e email me or call me instead of coming down to my office. And I have to admit, I, don't do, I did do that a few times in the beginning and I don't do that anymore. It's a good one, but um, you know the real collectors have rooms and rooms full of things. It's amazing. It's Im it's impossible to be a completist these days. This is Here. the Baker Street Journal, ah. of which I am the business manager. Actually, um, it was founded in 1946, and it's it's scholarship about Sherlock Holmes and uh, Christopher Morley, who was the founder of the Irregulars. Um, kind of paraphrased Winston Churchill when he said uh, never before has so much been written by so many for so few <laughs> I hear of Sherlock everywhere episode 14 an interview with the head of the Baker Street Irregulars Michael Whalen Sherlock Holmes worked at home didn't he sure he, he was he was uh, a consultant any uh, do you, Think he would have any advice for people that work at home, based on what you know of the stories and how he uh, <laughs> how he balanced his time at home? Watson said he would go for weeks on end without speaking to him, and he just he'd never leave the uh, the apartment for a while, and he'd, he'd just let papers pile up. And uh, at other times, he'd be out of the house, you know, for hours and even days on end. So it really depends on uh, the work that you've got coming in, the workload that you've got. And um, one thing I've learned is that I need to get out of the house on a regular basis. Because um, as you said, you know, coming from a corporate environment, you're, you're, just, you're used to an office setting, you're used to interacting with people. And when you're here alone, and sure you've got you know, Skype or you know, video chat, but that only goes so far. So every week I try to at least have lunch with somebody or go to an event um, in and around the Boston area where you know, fellow marketers or social media people or tech type people are. Um, and, and try and get out and just share some ideas that are bubbling out in my head. There's tons and tons of resources available, so don't feel like you're alone, even though you may physically be isolated. Yeah. 
That's great. We got a snowstorm going here. Oh. You want some gloves?